ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, man. Back in the winner's circle, and it feels good. Welcome back to you, so Rock is Daily, where we post daily Rock is content. If that's something you enjoy, and you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button as we try to get to 2,000 subscribers. I think you could argue. Um, I think you could argue. So the Rock is 15th win tonight. 15th win. Um, the goal to me is still 25. I think 25 is a number that, honestly, I think the Rockets will hit 25 wins. I think we'll finish somewhere between 25 to 30 wins, but I think you could argue this was our best game all season. I mean, it, it literally was four quarters of good basketball, four quarters of good basketball. You know, KPJ, seventh straight game with seven assists. Christian Wood had another solid game. He's been playing so solid all month, or I guess now we're in February. He's been playing solid for several weeks now. KPJ, or sorry, Jalen Green, uh, this was, I think, his first 20-point game since, like, what was it, January 5th, January 6th, uh, whenever that win against Washington was. So, you know, 21-5-5, five and five, Jalen Green, 3-7 from downtown, efficient enough. You just like what you saw. The angles Jalen has been getting on, the commentators kind of touched on this as well. You can tell he's been putting in some work. You can tell um, the whole Rockets coaching staff's been putting in some work as well to help figure out how can we get Jalen Green more involved. There was a brief portion of this game, or, yeah, a brief portion of this game where Jalen Green was just like a bystander. Like he was literally just a spectator. No one was giving him the basketball. Christian Wood wasn't giving him the ball. Um, but for the most part, Jalen Green had a phenomenal game. And we've been talking a lot about his on-ball defense, which has just been steadily improving week after week. At this point, it's honestly game after game. I mean, there was a specific play. I think it was late in the third quarter where um, someone, you know, one of the Cavs player, Ali ooped, ooped it to Evan Mobley, and Jalen Green trailed him the whole time, which prevented Evan from getting a dunk. And you just love to see it. You just love to see all these positives. So, yeah, like I said, I think we'll finish between 25 to 30 wins. Keep in mind, I mean, I'm not good at math. 36 plus 15, 35 plus 15 is 51. What's there, like 30 games left of the season? There's only like 30 games left this season, man. You know, it's, we're, I know it's only February, um, and we're not that close to playoffs, but, you know, we're definitely like, once All-Star break hits, right when that's over, I mean, it's go time. It's go time, and you're going to start seeing these young cats get a lot more run. Particularly, one thing I really liked tonight was Elprin Shangun just getting 25 minutes, right? 25 minutes, 25 minutes. Shangun had a super solid game, and this was definitely by far his best game back since his ankle injury, where he just, like, honestly, since the ankle injury, he just hasn't really looked the same. And tonight, you love to see it. Nine points, eight rebounds, three assists. Yeah, four turnovers, a handful of fouls as well. You know, I do have my issues with Shangun. I mean, he's a rookie. He's very young. He's There's flaws. There's going to be flaws. There's flaws with every rookie in the NBA. Um, one thing I don't like about Shangun and Christian Wood is, like, if they don't get a call, they just, like, sit back and complain to the ref for a second and then get back on defense. Um, but I don't think that's, like, all that important. <sighs> Bench came up big tonight, man. Bench really got going. Garrison Matthews has been playing really good basketball. You know, he went through a little bit of a cold stretch there kind of recently. But, man, Garrison Matthews makes some absolutely absurd shots. There was a crazy shot early in the game tonight where it was like, holy cow, how the hell did you make that? 16 points, um, you know, only 3 of 10 from downtown. But um, shoot or shoot. Shooters definitely shoot. K.J. Martin tried to end a career tonight. Um, Shangun tried to end a career tonight. A lot of these Rocket dudes tried to end a career. So we had Evan Mobley versus Jalen Green for the first time all season. First time all season that these two dudes played each other. Um, I don't think it was our first time playing the Cavs. I think uh, Evan Mobley missed the first game. Or maybe Jalen Green missed the first game. Something like that. I don't think it was... A can't remember if we've played the Cavs this season, but I'm, there's no way this was the first time. But if it was, we got the job done. And like I said, you know, Cleveland, they're missing a bunch of dudes, but still this is, or they were the fourth ranked team in the Eastern Conference. So, you know, I'm gonna give some credit to this Rockets team. They've been really struggling at home. They had a double digit losing streak, right? 11? They had a really, really bad losing streak at home. So to get it going, um, it just feels really good, man. It feels really good. Eric Gordon, really bad game from him. 
Uh, but he, you know, he did enough when he had to. I'm just a little worried about EG right now because we have like what three games left before the trade deadline, and he's shooting like 35 percent from downtown in his last 10 games, which isn't bad by any means. But now it brought down his total to about 42 percent from downtown, and um, you know, this is a guy who shot 50 percent for like. 25 straight games was shooting over 45 percent um up until essentially the last 10 games so i just hope eric gordon gets traded soon or the trade deadline comes i, I don't really know like i want eric gordon to get traded but it's also hard saying goodbye to a player like eric gordon um but yeah once again man christian wood really kind of won this game for us the rockets controlled a lot of it they controlled a lot of it and there was a lot of worry heading into tonight because of Evan Mobley and Jared Allen and then Kevin Love. Uh, but the, the Cavs, they're super shorthanded at that guard position. So Jalen, KP, they really just kind of stepped up. They really stepped up when they needed to, and they played great games. So Christian Wood basically won this game. I mean, the Rockets scored, I think it was 10 straight. Might have even been 12 straight, but I'm pretty... I think it was 10 straight points. Um, there, was a, there was a brief part um, with about three minutes to go, maybe four minutes to go, where... The Rockets had a pretty good lead. It was still single digits, but, um, you know, you obviously had to keep your foot on the gas because if you didn't, the Cavs, they're going to take advantage of that. Their defense will keep them in every single basketball game. And uh, shout out to just like so much love to Christian Wood in this video because especially in that fourth quarter, man, he messed up, fouled Evan Mobley on an and one, comes back, makes a play, next possession, drains a three, like a deep three like an eric gordon three like that three was probably from spring texas like that's how deep that three was um but you could tell man like right after he messed up got the foul and and one comes back next possession kind of like forces himself to get the basketball forces the ball his way and just attacks jared allen head on just literally head on attacks jared allen and jared was dealing with some foul trouble so that's something you gotta keep in mind like if you're playing someone who is about to fall out, just be aggressive, man. Just be aggressive. And so that's really been one of the things I've been preaching for Christian to do all season is he'll be aggressive for like one half of a game. Then the other half, it just, he doesn't like disappear, but he's not being aggressive. If the threes aren't falling, it just isn't that pretty, right? You know, if the threes aren't falling and he's not being aggressive in the paint, it's not doing much out there. So Christian Wood, oh man, what a great game from him. Had, two, I think, two steals tonight as well. Did they only count one? No, they gave him two steals. Uh, Jay Sean Tate didn't really do much offensively, but had a really nice steal there in the fourth quarter, late in the fourth quarter. Had um, you know, a bunch of steals, four steals tonight. So, you know, there's just a lot of positives about this Houston Rockets team. And I think we're all, you know, even though we're coming off a losing streak, I think we are all kind of like figuring out like, all right, yeah, this, this Rockets team, they're gonna be really fun to watch in a couple of years but even by the end of this year they should be they should be extremely fun to watch man so that's it for today if you guys enjoyed hit the like button hit some hit that sub button drop some comments down below on tonight's game and i'll see you guys tomorrow